you going there, fellas? Here we go, something out of New York. Equilibrium. And they've done a collaboration with a really unusual name. Over Creek Brewing, I guess. 8.5 double IPA. Now, I'm sure this is going to be hazy because just about every double IPA I get out of East Coast USA is usually hazy. Never clear. Well, that's not clear either. So, yeah, typical of uh, East Coast double IPAs, all around 8.5%. And usually bloody delicious. So let's hope this one is. Geez, the focus thing plays up on this camera. Samsung shit. Anyway, cheers, guys. Wow, oh, that's a, a bloody big mouthful. A lot of flavours. I was thinking like must sticks first or fruit sticks, sort of like really sweet tropical fruit. Pretty complex. Bloody well balanced though gorgeous mouth salivating this is what drinking's all about guys i don't know about you i'd rather have what three of these instead of six normal average bog standard drafts or something this would be less alcohol but a better kick Mm. Scrumptious. Flavours. <gasps> sort of tropical fruits. But you're getting a little bit of something else going on. It's, it's really complex. It's lovely. Gorgeous. Mmm. Squeeze every drop out of this one. They're not cheap either, coming from New York, you can imagine. Eight and a half percent, big can. One pint. There you go. Look out for it, guys. They do quite a lot. I've had a couple of equilibrium, so I think I've done a couple of vids, or one at least. Uh, they're really nice double IPAs. I'll be drinking that if I lived in New York, and I bet you'd be a lot friggin' cheaper than here. Mm. That's scrumptious. Yum. It's got that sweetie sort of feel on the tongue, and then it comes out bitter at the end, but not bitter at all, really, and just a little bit. It just sort of balances off lovely. Someone's small. Well, they've got two breweries working together to make this. That's always a good thing. Two heads are better than one, as they say. Bloody cold here today. It's probably about 12, 13 degrees. Yeah, it's just like middle of winter. You know, we have days like this in winter. It's 13 degrees. A bit sunny. But, um, yeah, it's not like spring weather. Well, a few things are coming out in flower, though. It's sort of... We get a few warm days here and there, and then, you know, 25 or something, that's not that warm. And then you'll have a day like today, it didn't get over 14 here. And overnight, it was probably down to about 6. So she's not, um, you know, warming up that much yet. Global warming, I don't know about that. It's been the coldest two years of my life, living in Melbourne, the last two. Certainly a lot colder than... Uh, and last year's summer was crap. We had like 
maybe one day over 40, if we're lucky, and only a couple of days sort of over 36, which is pretty rare. We used, we used to get like four or five days of 40 plus, maybe 39, 45, 43. We had a 47 one day. Candles melted in my garage. Yeah, it was bloody stinky hot. A lot of people died that day. It was, I think they call it Black Saturday or something. And yeah, heaps of people died. A lot of people here, they want to chop the trees down near the house. But they're banned. You know, no, nah, you're going to lose the trees. And one guy, he just cut them down anyway. And he got a big fine. I think it was a hundred grand or something like that. Might have been two hundred. And then the fire came, and everyone in his street died except for him. His was the only house to survive. So two hundred grand was worth your life, wasn't it? All the others just got burnt to death. Heaps of them, hundreds. You fucking. Even one of our newsreaders, I think he, famous newsreader, I think it was Brian Naylor or something, I think he burnt to death and, you know, he followed the rule, wouldn't chop the trees down near the house. Yeah, anyway, that's a, a battle in itself with the councils in Australia. They've taken over the country with their powers. It's absolutely atrocious. They've got no real power. If everyone decided not to pay the council, they can't do anything. You just say, no, you're not doing a good job. We're not paying you. We're having our own council. Fuck you. You can do it. But it's messy. But it can be done. They put up barbed wire fences around our council buildings now because they're making all these bullshit decisions. You know, they're bringing in shit like... Um, transvestite dress up and story time with the primary school kids with these you know transsexual people you know in in mini skirts and and undies with their balls hanging out you're fucking kidding and we got to put up with that and turning our kids queer that's fucking sickening that's a satanic cult running the world, mate. They're fucking off their heads. Anyway, we're banning them. Banning them off our plane of existence. Sorry, satanical people. You're all fucking going. Gone. Gone. I've already organised that you're all going. Gone. People like Chucky Schumer and all those pricks. They can all fucking rotten hell. I'll fucking escort them down there. I reckon I've got a place down there. I'm going to take them all with me, you motherfuckers. Anyway, this is a great beer. I'm getting carried away with the bullshit here. What the fuck? I've had a few beers. <laughs> Doesn't that open the fucking mouth? Loosen the tongue. Have a couple of beauties, mate. Get into a couple of these beauty double IPAs. You start tripping off your brain. All of a sudden you're firing on all eight cylinders, not fucking three or two, and they want us to fire on one. Oh, Jesus. Knock the fuck out of the camera. You're kidding. Jesus won't help you. He's dead. Is he? I don't know. It's a tricky one. I think I mentioned the other day I wouldn't mind making a spiritual weapon. I wonder what that is. It'll come to me. A bit of meditation, maybe. I was thinking of making a bone stick, like the Aborigines used to point the bone at people and they'd die. If I got one of those, I could go to protests and just point it at the politicians and just kill them with black magic. That'd be fucking trippy. Imagine that. I pointed at all the cops. They all fell down on the ground. That'd be fucking awesome. So I think I'll work on that one. Give it like a nuclear um, power plant. 
like the crystals and shit, make it powered right up and get it blessed by the Aborigine elders and we'll just take the whole friggin' lot out without even touching them. That'd be fucking great. Everyone that's done the worst thing ever or bad things against other people, they're just going to drop dead. Fuck them. They're gone. How's that one? That's a good pipe dream trip. Go back on the pipe. You're kidding. you got to think. It's a big war out here now, guys. It's the evil against the good. Dark against the light. And we've got to win. So get on board. Take out the evil in your area. Get rid of it. Take it out. We don't want it anymore. I'll just show you this purple planet. It was here when we moved in. It's just started to flower and it's bloody awesome. It goes sort of like two colours, a bit of white later. and Yeah, I, I don't know what planet it is. Maybe you can tell me. I think it's a native. It looks like a native. Was he a native? Garlic's just about ready to come out, guys. November is uh, garlic time. So I'm looking forward to having some fresh bloody garlic. We haven't had our own garlic for bloody months now. But everything's going all right. I'm pretty happy. We've got shitloads of... Uh, Lemon buds on that. We've got this grouse fertilizer. It's doing really well. Everything's flowering like fuck. Everything's going silly. You know, look at them. They're all going to flower in a sec. And we've got a wallaby down there, or maybe a couple. You don't know, need to see his head. The grass is that friggin' long. And the bananas are going all right. This one's got a new shoot, the top one, and the bottom one's got a second shoot coming really well, so that's good. And we got the passion fruit going all right this year. The new one, it's got heaps of flowers. I only had one passion fruit last year, but it was only a couple of years old. So patience. Oh, this, this isn't even flower to it at the moment. That looks lovely. Work in progress. Veggie garden going well. Happy with that. Got potatoes, Jerusalem artichoke. I might pull a few more out of there. They're just coming up everywhere. Jeez, they can take over. Be careful with the Jerusalem artichokes, guys. But they're fucking delicious and really good for you. Even the old, um, that's a uh, ginkgo palata. My mate Robbie gave me that. That's kicked on no end. That looks really good. And this uh, this thing's adding a bit of colour to the herb garden. It's not a herb though, but we put things in sort of over here, sort of like um, the nursery where you sort of get things in there. It's got plenty of shade so things don't burn and die. So it's all going well. Put in a few plants over there. I'll get that covered with ground cover and that garden I only made that not long ago that's going really well and I'm going to do the same up the other end I'll get some ground cover there going well the purple I'll get that going over there and a few more plants that should be all good the dog's here yuki pie you cheeky pie you good girl who's a good girl you cheeky yep and I'm doing the bathrooms at the moment, so I've got a bit of timber there. I've got to sand up and get ready to put back on. I'll do an undercoat before I put it on. All going well. The doggy. I'm going to get the barbie going. We're going to have um, marinated pork fillet noodle soup and homemade spring rolls. I'm looking forward to it. We had a big beef curry for lunch with chips mayo and fried rice so we're, we're not real hungry but hungry enough to have something the spring rolls are yummy all right guys i'll leave you with that cheers